Hello my people. We are back again on another episode on Trend360 TV where we give you all the juicy details and the basketball matters happening around. And on today's episode, let's just say we'll call this particular episode the moment of truth. So, following Didi's arrest by Homeland Security in September on suspicion of sex trafficking, racketeering conspiracy and interstate transportation for prostitution, the rapper became a global villain. And that really sparked a lot of speculations to the point that they started linking people, calling names, even the names of some of your favorite artists here in Nigeria, the likes of Bonner Boy and even Fowls. As for Bonner Boy, if you could recall that in the previous episode, we gave you guys heads up about the conflict he had with Akbi over these allegations to the point of even getting Akbi locked up. And then recently, a Nigerian content creator who has turned the singer, Olua Dollars, alleged that a gay music executive demanded sex from him before he could promote his song, but he rejected the offer. So this allegation went viral that it even got the attention of the Maven Records boss, Don Jazzy, who dared Olua Dollars that, okay, oh, since you said a particular music executive wanted to go down with you before promoting your song, you should go ahead by giving the public his name. But he didn't, obviously for reasons best known to him, I guess. So, there's been speculations and too much assumptions and just a few days ago, the Afro queen Tiwa Savage gave a hint during an interview with The Beat, 99.9 FM in Lagos. She said that the Nigerian music industry might have its own version of Sean Combs, aka Didi, the American music executive who is alleged to be involved in sex trafficking. In her words, she said, I think Nigerian music might have our own Didi moment. Hmm. Now, that sounds really suspicious. So, could it be that something is happening on the ground that the public don't know about or someone is about to get busted? We really can't take some of these comments lightly, you know. So, for her to think this way, it means Nigerians would also start thinking that way. But as usual, let's just shine our eyes because anything fee happen. Now, the question is, since Tiwa didn't call a name, who do you think she might be referring to? Could it be one of the biggest producers in the industry that we know or one of those music stars people look up to? So, if you have any comments, opinions, reservations or anything you love to say regarding Tiwa Savage's thoughts about the Nigerian music industry, kindly drop it in the comment section and keep watching Trend360 TV for more interesting videos.